Um, Shalom, all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Kakadash, the ones to the other apostles, great millstone. Citation, so I can teach all truth and sincerity. Um, uh, this is going to be called um, The Elect Will Have the Last Laugh. Um, so, this is um, uh, Luke 17, verse 26. And um, and as it was in the days of Noe, um, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. So, like as in the days of Noah, um, people were, um, you know, in a society where the society was, you know, um, what's the word, um, you know, functioning. Uh, very normal. Um, they were, you know, eating. They were drinking. They were marrying, giving into marriage. Um, they had no care in the world, you know. And at that time, it didn't rain until the time um, that because um, Noah, he he, I believe he prophesied for a hundred plus years until there was rainfall. And those people back then, they didn't believe that Noah, what Noah was preaching was true. They they scoffed him. They mocked him. Because back then, you know, it didn't rain from the sky at all. Um, you know, um, the, the, the ground would water itself. I believe the dew from, from the ground would water the plants. Like the water that basically was in the ground. That came up, you know, in the morning with water the plants, and that's what, how the plants would be watered. But, if, you know, but but there'd be no physical rain that would come down until, you know, at that time where it rained and then it, it kept raining, and then to the point where the rain flooded the entire earth. And by that time, you know, Noah and his, you know, his sons and their wives, you know, Noah's wife. And his three sons' wives were all were all in the ark, you know, kept kept away with the animals, the animals that um, the land animals, you know, that were, you know, predestined to save all all the animals that could breathe on the water and that could survive underwater. They they were cool, but the ones that couldn't, they were on the ark with Noah. So anyway. Um, I'm going to read verse 27. It says, uh, They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage. To that day Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. It says, Likewise also, as it it was in the day of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, and they sold, they planted, and they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and burned some from heaven and destroyed them all. It says, even thus shall there be in a day when the Son of Man is revealed. And that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. He that in the field, let him likewise be, be returned back. It's like, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever should lose his life shall preserve it. So, so in that, so in that time, when Yahshua comes back, judgment—that's judgment day, you know. And you're not gonna escape that time, cause at that time, um, you know, um, you know, you know, at that time, you know, uh, the judgment. Uh, upon America is, is evident, you know, because um, people, once they see Yahweh Shah, they, they're going to be, you know, afraid, you know, because he's not coming to, uh, he's not coming like the, the, the Christian church preach, you know, where he's coming, to, you know, to bring love and peace and, no, he's coming to, to bring judgment from, from Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah, from the Heavenly Father upon the earth. To bring the kingdom, to to uh, judge the wicked and to bring salvation to the righteous, 
That's that's the the important plan and and the elect. They're gonna laugh at the calamities of these people in that time because we we you know if I'm part of that number, us men of the Lord have told you and warned you from from the Lord before destruction came. And when it comes, you can't say that you weren't warned. You can't say that a prophet did not warn you because we're out here week in week out. Um, on the highways and byways. So, anyway, I'm gonna get that in um, Proverbs one. And, um, this is um, this is Proverbs one and um, twenty two. It says, um, "How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity, and the scorner delight in scorning, and who's and fools hate knowledge? So, um, yeah, how long you gonna stay in your wickedness, and how long you not gonna repent?" If you're not going to repent, you're going to be destroyed. And that's that's basically the warning. You know, if you don't turn back to your how about you, you, know, you, you Israelites, you're going to be destroyed. And that, that's the warning. If you don't take heed to that warning, you're going to be destroyed. You know, there's nothing else a prophet can tell you except that. You know, you, you know. anyway, um, verse 23, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Make known my words unto you, because I have called and you refused. I stretched out my hand, no man regarding, and the prophets are the mouthpiece of the Lord. You know, like it says in um, Isaiah 58, verse 1, Cry aloud, spare not, lift thy voice like a trumpet, and show, show my people their transgressions, the house of Jacob, their sins. Like we're set up to, you know, like this, the scriptures say, we're not supposed to, we're supposed to come and preach this word, whether you hear it or for you, whether you want to hear it or not, you know, because we're not here uh, for you. We're here to do the will of the Lord. You know, it, it it's 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 our job. It's it's our it's our occupation. It's our if our purpose. You know, he he ordained us to do this. You know, and he 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 did that from birth. I'm reverse. Um. Um. 24, because I call you fused, I stretch out my hand, and no man regarded, uh, but ye have said not on my counsel, ye, you would not on my reproof, because you despise, the, you wouldn't take heed to the prophets, you despise the men of the Lord, you know, um, they hate him, they rebuke him, they negate, they abhor him, that speak up rightly, I believe that's in Amos 5 and 10, but anyway, this is um, verse 26, um, I also... I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming. The men of the Lord are going to be laughing at the calamities of our people and the heathen. Because in that time, it's going to be, you know, you know, full on judgment upon Jacob. But but it's also a judgment day for everybody. Not just Jacob. Because these heathens are going to be in, you know, bad case. And our people are going to be in bad case. Especially the wicked of our people because they had opportunity to take heed to the warning before this judgment came and they didn't take heed and in that time you know the lord's not going to it's going to be a fair judgment it's going to be a fair judgment um and we're going to laugh because in that time we're going to be protected and our mind is going to be in a joyful mind state while you people are going to be in a sorrowful mind state um i'm gonna read um Verse uh, 27, when your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction come as a whirlwind and stress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. And they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So those, they may, they going to try to call on the Lord. They're going to call him by a different name. If they even know the name, you know, if they're not on the good side of the Lord, he's not going to hear them or help them. I'm um, read verse 29, for that, they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord, because they didn't have no fear towards, you know, Yahweh Bash and Yah Shai. Uh, says they would not slacky, they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore I will they shall slacky, therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. It says, But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. So they going to fall into, you know, 
disastrous calamities and be destroyed. You know, and and those that hearkened and took heed to how blessing y'all shots warning, they're gonna be protected and, and you know, no 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 um evil is going to touch them in that time. Um I'm gonna go to uh second edges um six verse um twenty five. The second edges six verse twenty five it says Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in, in the end of your world. It says, And the men that I receive shall see it. Um, and who have not tasted death from their birth. And uh, the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. So, um, you know, um, those... Uh, that um, you know, those that uh took heed and, and um, what's the word? Um, that uh, you know, uh, got on your how about you know, you know, uh, good side. You know, he 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 uh will see salvation. He'll he'll um, won't taste death. You know, he, he, he will be um, changed from this vile, you know, body to an everlasting existence, an everlasting body, you know, uh, you know, raised up and received deliverance and salvation. Um, I'll read verse 27, Salaki, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. And as for faith, it shall flourish and corruption shall be overcome and the truth which have so long been without fruit, so long without fruit shall be declared. And this truth, it will be declared throughout the four corners of the earth. It will be showed that Israel, that the prophets were right, and that these, you know, Esau, and um, you know, um, you know everything that uh, wickedness is doing. It's going to be destroyed, you know, because righteousness is going to reign on the earth. You know, that's who's going to be delivered. Those that, you know, forsook their lives to, to follow after the, the path of the righteous path. Those that sacrifice themselves and put their body as a living sacrifice, they're going to be delivered. They're going to be um, changed from these incorruptible to, a, a, you know, a corruptible flesh to incorruptible flesh, to, uh, from mortal to immortal, uh, from this vile body to a, a polished and beautiful, glorious body. You know, um, that's that's the the, the salvation we gotta look forward to. Um, I'm gonna go to um, this is the last one. This is Isaiah uh, 65, verse 12. Isaiah 65 verse 12 it says therefore will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called ye did not answer when I spake ye did not hear but the evil before my eyes and they choose that wherein I delighted not and um you know um you people you know especially two thirds of our people you when how about me outside the prophets on the highways and byways, we can look out, you know, you know, we're the mouthpiece of the Lord. You know, you despise, you know, the, the men of the Lord. You know, you don't want to take heed to the warning that we're preaching and teaching. And since you despise that in that time of trouble, you know, how about you Shah is not going to defend you? You know, he's going to protect only his, his chosen, his people that, that did take heed and that did turn back to him and repent from the evil ways. I'm going to read verse 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, um, Behold, my servant shall eat and be, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So in that time, the servants of the Lord are going to be eating. At that time, the servants of the Lord are going to be drinking. At that time, the servants of the Lord are going to be rejoicing while you people are hungry, while you people are thirsty, while you people, all you people are going to be ashamed. 
you know, that man who, uh, what's the word, sacrificed himself for the ministry of the Lord, he's going to be calm while the rest of you are not calm. While the rest of you are sorrowful and vexed in your spirit. Um, this is verse 14. Behold, my servants shall sing for uh, joy of heart, but ye shall cry of sorrow of heart, and ye shall howl for vexation of spirit. I'm going to say all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, Bashim, Kakadash, double honors to the elder apostle, great millstone. So I taste you, I can teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.